Hi again, it's Alex and I am back at my desk trying to solve another issue regarding money and rates. So working for friends and family can cause some issues because a lot of the time family and friends expect you to give some form of discount. And it's a really difficult area to kind of figure out because it all depends on the family member or the friend or even the project. So the majority of the time, I don't ever give my clients any form of discount for my services. I feel that my rates best represent the quality of the content I produce for clients. However, family is a difficult one because family is family and they're always there and they kind of deserve some form of discount, especially if they don't have the money to spend for your main rates. But when a family member is asking you to come in and do some work for a company that they work for, not the company they own, the company they work for, it can be quite tricky. I'm currently in a situation like this where a family member of mine works for another company, but that company needs some work doing, so they have asked her to try and find someone that do work on a budget. And my rates aren't really that budget friendly, and I think that my family member was thinking, actually, if I use Alex, he might be able to give me a mate's rates fee. However, it's not their company, so I don't feel like I'm obliged to give them a discount because she's not the one paying the bills. It is the company who is paying the bill, not, it's not coming out of her pocket. But they are family at the end of the day, so it's really difficult because you kind of want to do them a favour because you know it might help their own career, but you also got to think about, I'm running my own company here, you know, I've got to make a living as well. There's no finite answer for this. Every situation is different regarding family and work. You've got to take it with a pinch of salt and try and find the best possible solution for both parties. And for this situation, what I did is I just charged my usual rates. Because I was talking to one of our colleagues about it, it wasn't kind of directly to her, so it was kind of a lot easier to negotiate the prices and the fees. But there's always that worry that, you know, they're expecting something, and if you don't kind of come up with a certain price or in a certain budget, they might just bin you off. But what I try and do is be completely transparent with companies because I feel like you've got to have a really good relationship with your clients so they hopefully will come back for more work in the future. And that's what I did. I told them my rates, I was fully transparent and I told them this is how much I think it will cost and if you want any changes, this is how much it will cost extra. And luckily it worked in my favour and now I have a new client. I don't know if they're, you know, a regular client but I've got one job with them and hopefully, you know, it will go well.